Renesis QE4 Display is a development tool that runs on E Squared Studio IDE. It also integrates GUI drawing tools, enabling seamless LCD adjustment and GUI creation and drawing. This facilitates the customization of diverse GUIs and contributes to a short time to market. In addition to the previously supported MWIN, the AeroPoint GUI has been newly integrated into the QE4 Display GUI drawing tool. AeroPoint GUI lets you create and draw GUIs using PowerPoint, allowing designers to make their own GUIs, a task which used to be done by programmers. This leaves programmers to concentrate on developing HMI applications, thus improving development speed and design. Now let's take a look at the actual procedure of GUI development using AeroPoint GUI on QE4 Display. Start E Squared Studio IDE, create a project, select the board and target device to be used. Open the Smart Configurator, click the Clock tab and set the clock for the board to be used. The PLL operating frequency is the clock source for the LCD panel. Open QE4 Display and follow the workflow to adjust the LCD. Select Use AeroPoint GUI as the GUI drawing tool in the preparation section of the workflow. Next, select the Components tab in the Smart Configurator, then select Graphics LCD Controller Module and Graphic Library with One Stop Development Solution to import them. If the component that is dependent on the added component is not imported or is a different version, an error or warning will occur. So click Download More Software Components and download the RX Family RX Driver package in order to add the necessary components. Next, set the I squared C channel to be used by the GUI drawing tool AeroPoint GUI. I squared C is used for controlling the touch panel of the LCD panel. Select RSCI IIC RX from the components and change the setting of the channel to be used to supported according to the selected board. Click the Generate Code button to generate the code. The LCD display can be adjusted by changing the setting values from the TCON LCD setting, Timing Adjustment, Graphic Layer Setting and Image Quality Adjustment buttons in the LCD Display Adjustment workflow. If you are using a custom board, Perform the LCD settings and adjustments here. Clicking the Start Display Adjustment button allows you to adjust the display while checking the display status on the actual LCD. Click the Generate File button to output a header file reflecting the LCD adjustment results. The Include path to the generated header file will be added automatically. Next, configure the initial settings of the GUI drawing tool. Click the Info Setting button to open the AeroPoint GUI Settings dialog and confirm that the values are set according to the board information set in the project. Click the Generate File button to output a header file that reflects the initial settings of the GUI drawing tool. The Include path to the output header file will also be added automatically. The next step is to install the AeroPoint GUI used for the GUI creation. Click the Settings button to open the AeroPoint GUI Settings dialog box and click the Installing AeroPoint GUI button to install. Launch AeroPoint GUI and create a GUI. As an example, Let's create a GUI that transitions to another screen based on button input. 
Here, select button and set up an action such that it will switch to another screen when pressed. After setting the background colour, insert the text and icons to be displayed on each page and place them on the slide. With the AeroPoint tool, which is an add-in to PowerPoint, set the action when the selected button is pressed. This is how you can set up the GUI behaviour. When you have finished creating the GUI, save the file and click the Show Sample Code button in QE4 Display. Copy the code to the clipboard in the dialog box that appears and embed it into the main function. Build the project and the code reflecting the generated GUI action will be built. Click the Debugger tab of the Debug Configuration, select the Connection Settings tab, change the clock setting to match the board, set the connection with the target board to Fine and set the power supply settings. Click the Debug button to start the connection to the target. After the load module download is completed, click the Resume button to run the program. As you can see, it is easy to develop an HMI that implements a high-definition, high-quality GUI. For more information, please download the application note from Renesas website.